and now that it's certain that uh, joe biden is taking over as the president um in terms of foreign policy uh, what could we expect especially given the kind of cabinet um that he is uh, i mean proposed uh, so uh, can you uh, talk us through the cabinet and and you know what you expect from foreign policy hmm. my uh, real worry is about the only um Mm, alleged indian in the cabinet uh, the vice president um so called indian um because she is one of those people who would sell her own mothers on a uh, to a, a slave trader if she could get ahead in life okay uh, that's both a positive and that's a negative because india may not be able to afford her price so she might you know uh, move on to the highest bidder and pakistan is always known to be a much higher bidder remember pakistan can always mobilize the muslim vote in um, uh, america far more effectively because indians in america have this acute inferiority complex you know they need to fit in and be whiter than the white man kind of thing um, i think that uh, mr cooper uh, the coopers at 42 the british comedy did a very good um, uh, um, uh, sketch on it even though that was set in the uk it applies even more so to uh, uh, the nris you see in america because they come from a really um, what should we say a particularly trash section of indian society and so the social climbing uh, it, it, the, the need for social validation and the craze to social climb is far greater so what happens out here is that uh, uh, the the indian community in america is highly fickle we can't count on them uh the indian in the cabinet is very very scary because i don't think we'll be able to afford her uh the problem then arises as to the rest of the cabinet i don't see a problem with the rest of the cabinet i think they're all fairly stable people i think biden's done a fairly good job keeping out all the crazies uh he's not given any of the squad any kind of position he's not given any of the uh uh squad and by the squad you know for our viewers uh, it, it uh, the four evil witches of the west or, or east or whatever it was in uh, uh, dorothy and the uh, wizard of oz aoc uh, alexandria ocasio let's just call her aoc man i mean um uh, aoc um rashida tlaib um uh, uh, ilhan omar the most infamous of the lot and ayana presley and apparently there's a fifth one that's kind of joined i forget her name now but uh, irrelevant anyway um uh, it's good he's get, uh, kept them out i think the real tension though is going to come from the people he has chosen on russia because he himself is extremely compromised when it comes to china what you will see with him and china is what we saw with obama and china they make a lot of noise saying they're taking on china taking on china taking on china but they do absolutely nothing on china instead we keep trying to focus everybody's attention on russia because remember for the american liberal their source of validation comes from europe because europe is the mother of all their ideas it's their historical mother in that sense you know so this very eurocentric point of view and looking at europe's concerns where even though china is the biggest threat to america for america russia will be the biggest threat because they seek validation from europe so uh what you see is people like victoria nuland who was crucial in engineering the coup in ukraine uh that through that ultimately led to the russian annexation of crimea and all of that uh she is now going to be an under secretary uh, of public affairs so you know it, it, it's quite uh, the sheer irony of it that her nomination was announced the same day that he accused trump supporters of lodging uh, of attempting a coup when victoria newland had done exactly the same thing and there is a clear phone recording that's the brilliant part of it the bbc has planned, uh, has published the transcripts of it uh, a, a lot of places have published the transcripts of it cnn refused to do so which tells you about a lot about cnn um but uh, this is where the real danger lies because with trump we had a certain leverage to do what we wanted to do with russia that may not exist under biden so it will effectively come down to a choose between me or russia uh uh situation number one number two the problem is going to be with the realignment in the middle east 
And the real element in the Middle East, the problem with that is, if Biden starts trying to suck up to Iran now, then you're going to have a, a, a huge problem. Because what is going to happen is that uh, uh, it's going to break apart the entire Abraham Accords. Uh, well, it won't break it apart because I think between Saudi Arabia, the UAE, uh, Bahrain, uh, Oman was all, Oman's kind of neutral, and Israel, they've already formed extremely strong bonds. But, but we need to remember, America is what brought them together, and America can also do them apart. Uh, I think there will be a lot of resistance to this administration from those four Gulf countries plus Israel. Right. Uh, which makes it problematic for us because then we don't know what tightrope to walk. Namaste. We hope you enjoyed this Chitti Media content. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.